hello friends good to see you again through this video today i wanted to share something you know this is an electric bulb right uh, we call this as an incandescent electric bulb you know thomas alva edison right before he invented this bulb he tried to build this bulb or he tried to invent this for a thousand times he had to do experiment after experiment but every time he failed right like he didn't give up but he kept trying again and again he was so diligent that finally one day he was able to find this awesome you know he was able to invent this awesome thing and today we cannot even imagine like whether we can live without this invention right it has become so uh, impactful in our lives so why i am trying to say this is you know when there is a spirit of diligent in you when you are diligent when you don't give up and keep trying again and again definitely one day you are going to see that success right you know the same way the lord wants you and me the, the lord wants his children also to be diligent so that whatever the purpose that he has for our life you know we have to cooperate with our lord so that when we are diligent to what he wants us to do in our life that is when we are going to see the fulfillment of his blessings fulfillment of his promises in our life that is why the lord expects his children to be diligent and that's what i wanted to share i wanted to give few verses from the scripture so that we can still understand the importance of diligence from god's perspective you know uh, if you read deuteronomy right deuteronomy is a book that is filled with blessings and promises right you know the verse says in deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and if you diligently obey the voice of the lord your god being careful to do all his commandments that i command you today the lord your god will set you high above all the nations of the earth see what a great promise you know there is a there is a condition to that promise right you know god is saying be diligent to follow my ways be diligent to follow the path that i am laying for you if you are willing to walk in the path or if you are willing to follow my commandments follow my teachings or follow what i am i want you to do then the lord says he will set you high above all the nations of the earth so the lord attaches diligence you know like to success right like you know when you are diligent in what you do the lord will bless you in a way that you see some success in what you are doing and then he says in another verse in deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 6 and 7 here he talks about how we have to be diligent in bringing up our children right he says and these words that i command you today shall be on your heart you shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise see the way god wants us to bring up our children is also by sowing the seed of his word into their hearts right he wants us to do it not occasionally but he wants us to do it diligently which means until they get the word of god inside their heart we have to keep on sowing it we have to be diligent in how we are sowing the word of god in our children's you know mind and their heart because psalm 119 verse 9 it says like this right you know when a young man heart when a when a young man's heart is filled with god's word the word of the lord will protect him from doing sin that's what the bible says so that is why my dear friends you know for us to have our children be safe in this wicked world you know because we live in such a kind of a world where the environment is so dark we don't know how what kind of things will come and affect them so that is why we need to give them the protection through god's word because god's word is the ultimate protection for anybody so that is what god says we have to be diligent in sowing the seed of the word sowing the seed of the lord's word into our children's heart and then in another verse he says deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 17 you shall diligently keep the commandments of the lord your god and his testimonies and his statutes which he has commanded you see other thing he is he is saying is whatever that we do in our life right it is very simple you know i can compare this verse also to psalm chapter 1 verse 2 it says uh, blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the lord as he meditates on his word day and night see just compare this to our daily activity today how many times are we 
really uh, aware that our activities that we do or the things that we do the way we speak what we see what we listen what we hear you know are these in accordance to god's word or are these are glorifying the lord or are we doing something that is not glorifying the god's name right so that is why the lord says we have to be diligent to follow his commandments we have to be diligent to follow his uh, principles and to make sure that we lead a life that is pleasing to him so in everything that we do from morning to till evening in everything that we do we need to be aware that we are bringing glory to the lord anything that i do i want to glorify the lord that is how we have to live right that is the diligence the lord expects you and me to have then in another verse it says proverbs 22 29 this is a, another beautiful verse it says if you see a man who is diligent in his work he will stand before the kings he will not stand before obscure men what the lord is saying here is when you are doing your job or when whatever the whatever the uh, responsibility that god has entrusted to you today you know you may be doing any job right it could be any profession but you know what that profession has not come from the employer but it has come from the god you know that is how we have to take it so anything that we do we are supposed to do for the sake of uh, god but not for the sake of men so because we receive the reward from him and he says when you are diligent in your work prompt being on time and uh, you know completing the work as stipulated you know not dragging out or like you know not unnecessarily wasting the time when we live in that kind of a diligence you know the lord says that your work shall be blessed and people will notify you and you will be honored and you will be promoted that is what the lord says the word of god cannot go wrong right so that is why many times we think why are we not getting the promotion or why am i being sidelined or why is that i don't i am not getting what i deserve we have to just think whether we have been diligent in what we are doing you know when you and i we are diligent god will definitely bring a day where our work will be honored we will be honored so that through our you know promotion or through the honor that we receive god's name will also be glorified that is the ultimate thing will happen then he says another important thing we have to be watchful be thankful in prayer right because prayer gives us the strength you know today when we talk about prayer many times we are satisfied with one line prayers right we become so busy as we drive in the car we pray as we you know step out of the door you know we pray like that you know we just pray for a, like a split second and we just get down to the vehicle and we keep moving but you know what just think about list down the items you know just take a paper and write down think about your family then think about your friends and relatives think about the believers your co-workers your people living in the community your city your nation and all the people who are proclaiming the missionaries around the world and uh, the rulers of the world like you know if you just list down and if you pray at least 1 minute for each of this item right you can easily pray for 10 minutes right there will be at least 10 items that we can easily pray and that would be like 10 minutes of prayer so that is how my dear friends you know we need to find you know we have to be diligent in uh, wh- how we are praying and to whom we are praying for what we are praying that is the most important thing then he says about being persistent in relationship with god right again that is something we have to do it diligently because the god's word says john chapter 15 verse 5 i am the vine you are the branches whoever abides in me and i in him he will bear much fruit because apart from me you cannot do anything see very very important right we have to be diligent in pursuing the relationship with god it is not like as if one day we say you know one day we pray and this four days we don't pray you know or we don't read the word when we become diligent in what we do you know it it only adds our strength right it is going to add our strength see one thing we need to understand it is not by our effort we are going to do you know we are going to achieve something when we put the effort in the direction of the lord or according to his purpose that is when things will happen because god's purpose for our life cannot be thwarted right and when we put the effort on a wrong direction or at a wrong place obviously we cannot experience the blessing the blessing of the lord comes when we walk according to his purpose and according to his plan and when we walk according to his plan and purpose it is very very important that 
we put that diligent effort you know we are diligent and we don't uh, do like a you know we are we are not operating in a slack mode but rather than let's be diligent with the responsibilities that god has interested because only through that diligence we are going to inherit the blessings god has for us because god expects his children to be diligent because he is a diligent god he is not a god who slumbers or who sleeps right it the bible says the lord is always diligent and he is always you know looking to respond to, to the needs of his children and he is always trying to do something in the life of his children so he is a god who acts with a purpose and a plan so that is why god expects his children also to be purposeful to be diligent and also to act with a plan so today if we are not diligent let's make this day and let's take a resolution this day let's submit ourselves and ask the strength of the lord because philippians 4:13 says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me which means when we receive god's strength we can be also diligent in this world and we can accomplish the plan and the purpose of the lord so we would be able to cooperate with the lord so that god can take us and uh, you know he can uh, help us to do that extra mile and you know expand our horizons and territories may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you